In today's video, I'm going to share with you what I believe to be the top five sets for success on defense in Madden NFL 20. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and if you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you, and I want to let you know that my channel is based on helping people get better in Madden NFL 20, and if you're interested in getting better in Madden 20, what I want to encourage you to do is watch the video all the way through, check out the channel for some other videos that might interest you, and also, and most importantly, join our Discord server. The link is in the description of this video, and what you're going to be able to do with that is that's where you're going to be able to talk with me, you're going to be able to ask questions to me, but also to everyone at our YouTube YouTube channel. It's just a great opportunity to be able to connect with one another. But let's jump into the video. All right, so defense in Madden 20. Uh, def it's a defensive game, but at the same time, it's very difficult to be very effective defensively year in and year out. And these top five sets for success is kind of a kind of a, a, a system for defensive success. And I want to jump into it. It's very similar to the offensive side of the ball, but this is what was taught to me by S. Gibbs and C. Farles. And again, it just kind of systematizes the game, kind of packages the game in a way that makes it a lot easier to understand. So the first set for success is a base formation. What are you going to come out in every single play? And I am in the, I think I am in the, um, Let's see what playbook I'm in. I think I'm in the Miami Dolphins playbook. So what set are you going to come out in the majority of your plays? This is a, a base formation. is a formation that's good against man. It's good against or it's good against um, the run. It's good against the pass, but it's not really that good against either of them. So it's not dominant by any means. But it's kind of a fill-you-out formation. So, for example, this year, one of the best base formations in the entire game is 3-4 odd. So, from the Miami Dolphins playbook, for example, this would be a good base formation because it's 3-4 odd, very simple, very, very strong. The second set for success, especially in Madden NFL 20, and you need this every single year, is a run defense. A defense that you're going to be able to go to, and you're going to be able to stop the majority of different types of runs. Now, in Madden 20, we all know that's a big issue. And so the 3-4 Bear is one of the best run defenses in the game. The 3-4 Odd also is, but also the Nickel 3-3-5 Wide is one of the best run defenses in the game. So from the Miami playbook, my base run defense is going to come from the 3-3-5 wide. Even though my base formation is 3-4 odd, the question is, what am I going to call when the guy is literally just coming out in I-form tight, I-form wing, running stretch, halfback dive, halfback blast, halfback power? What is my go-to play, right? How do I lock up the game's best running place? That's the 3-3-5 wide for me, and I don't know what it is for you, but this is this is the top five sets for success, and the first one is a base formation. The second one is a run defense. The third one is a blitzing defense. A blitzing defense is a defense that is designed to be able to send man and zone pressure and look identical, and really what you want to do is you want to be able to, be, to send it from the right edge and from the left edge and from double edge pressure and if you're really good you want to be able to send it from the a gap so i'll give you an example this dime one four six here i'm going through the formation you see i can come out in the play cover to sink and that's a blitz off the left edge and then i could come out in the play cover three sky and as you can see that's pressure off the right edge and then I could come out in the play crossfire, and that's a play that's blitzing up the middle. So there's three different forms of pressure. And then I can come out in the play DB Sting to Buzz, and I can send pressure from both edges. So a really, really good hallmark of a good blitzing defense is something like that, where you've got the ability to send pressure off the left edge, send pressure off the right edge, send pressure off of both edges, send pressure up the middle, and you can do it all from any coverage you can do it from man coverage you can do it from zone coverage you could do it from cover two you could do it from cover three cover four that's the hallmark of a good blitzing defense and last but not least within that the ability to drop back into a max coverage base so do you have basic coverages that you can drop back in as you see i have cover six i have cover four drop and a lot of defenses have this the real trick is finding the blitzes that are most effective so again dime 146 a little bit better of a blitzing defense in my opinion than the three four odd right um and then the, the next set for success 
when you're when you're going through is what I call a passive pressure or coverage pressure type of defense and that would be something like the 3-4 bear there's a specific there's a specific setup in 3-4 bear that I really like that is basically a max coverage but it also comes down and, and I'm going to come back to that for formation in just a second but nickel normal would be an example one of the defenses that you can go to it's a defensive set that you can go to while the pressure's not you know fire it's not going to come in every time it's got really, really good coverage shells behind it. So if you look at the nickel normal, you have access to the Tampa 2, cover 2 drop, cover 3 match, cover 4 quarters. But the defense that I really like for something like this is a cover 4 palms or cover 4 or cover 3 buzz match. Those different match coverages are really effective this year in combination with all of the other coverages. So basically what I like to say is, do you have a formation where you can call every single coverage in the game. And what I mean by every single base coverage in the game, I mean cover six, cover three cloud, cover four, cover two, cover three, cover cover four, cover two man, cover one robber, all of those different things. Because if you're in a situation where you're playing somebody that is really more of a max protection type passer, you might want to go to this kind of defense because this is going to be able to put people in a lot of coverage but you're also going to get passive pressure because you have four down linemen rushing and we know what four down linemen rushing in this year's game is really really effective so that's the that's the fourth set and then the last set for success is what's called an x factor set this is a set that and, and this to me is um this to me can be there's there's two things that you could do and you could even sub in one little bonus set as well but an x factor to me is a set that you can do where if you what I like is 3-4 bear for this. I think 3-4 bear is one of the most X-factor formations in Man 20 because what it does is it allows you to send pressure even if they block a running back. It literally allows you, if you come out in this play here, pinch bucko, it's going to put everybody on the line of scrimmage. You can send seven really, really fast. And not only can you do that, if you do some certain setups and different things that I'm going to teach you this week, um, so make sure you're joining Discord so you can get those setups, this defense, this pinch Mike O, it's sending seven, right? But the thing about it is the pressure comes in so fast. And the way the game plays this year, you can do a lot of different things with your coverage to make this very, very effective. So again, this three, four bear. And then, but what I really like about it, and this is why it's an X factor formation, you can run something like that, but then you can also run something like the pinch dog three, and you can, you can um, yellow zone your defensive linemen so that they drop into the hook zones and you can use the middle of the field. And now all of a sudden you've got a really good coverage defense because the blitz angles from the pinch dog three, that specific blitz angle that those ends are on are very, very effective for passive pressure. So that's what I think of when I think of an X factor. And then lastly, the last set for success is some type of red zone defense. Everyone knows the red zone is important in this year's game. Nobody would argue that. Well, what people don't really think about, and in my opinion, what people don't really lab is they don't lab their red zone defense. And my whole theory in Madden is you want to try to hold your opponent to field goals. You don't want to try to give them up touchdowns and you want to force them to drive up the field, right? Madden's a difficult game to play, especially in this year's game. So you want to have a collection of plays, maybe a formation, maybe a play or whatever. And 3-4 solid is really good at that. There's this play in here called clamp double go. I really like like that play in the red zone. I also really like to play strike to spy. Uh, Trio sky zones always good, but three four solid is always good in the red zone. Three four under is good. You you can also go to the four three over formation. It's going to create kind of almost like a four four. 4-4 four, four defense for you, but some kind of thing that you can call in the red zone when you're going to face those goal line, I form tight, tackle over those type of offenses, and do you have that play that can blow the run up in the backfield on third and one, third and inches, fourth and one? That defense, this year's game, is huge. So, again, you could probably use something from 3-4 odd, 3-4 solid, or 3-4 whatever, but it's it's defense is a little bit less about formations because there's limited amount of formations on the defensive side. You basically have 3-4s, you have 4-3s, you have nickels, you have big nickels and dimes, but it's really more about the plays 
what is your play set up to be able to stop the fullback dive from West Coast? What's your play set up to be able to stop the stretch and the ISO combination? Right. So again, to review really quickly, the top five sets for success on defensive bad 20. The first set is a base formation. The second set is a blitz um, or this, this, the second set is a, is a run defense. Right. And I like nickel three, three, five wide. OK, the third set for success in defense in man 20 is some type of pa- aggressive blitzing pressure defense where you can send it off the right edge, the left edge, dual edge. And if you possible, you can send it up the middle, Adam, which I think the die one for six is the best blitz in the game. And then the the fourth set for success is some type of passive pressure. I like nickel normal. And again, I would actually substitute in and say the the uh, red zone defense might be a little bit more important than having a passive pressure. So again, red zone defense for me is going to take the number four slot. And I like three, four solid or three, four odd. One of those two defenses for that. And then some type of X factor. What are you going to do when nothing's working right I like going to 3-4 bear and just sending the gas at them and kind of going in between massive pressure and massive coverage. So, again, those are the top five sets for success. We're going to break down each set individually over the course of this next week, and I think we're doing it out of the Miami Dolphins defensive playbook, so be sure to stay tuned for that you can catch all of my stuff on our discord server would love to get you guys to join that it's a great way to connect with our community and again if i get over a hundred people on discord once i hit that number then i am going to release a free offensive and defensive ebook on that platform so you'll only be able to get access to it if you're on